I'm currently backing up all my stuff with the Tinian backup, and then I'm going to upload it to Dropbox because by flashing a tar using Odin to your Galaxy Note 2, you will be losing everything that's on your internal storage. And right now, my SD card is in my Samsung Galaxy S3. Normally, I would say make a backup of your ROM using Torp Recovery and then store that backup on an external SD card because Odin will not erase your external SD card, but it will erase your internal by flashing this stock ROM. Now, on the phone, you want to hold down the power button choose power off, press OK. Then you want to unplug it. Okay, volume down, the power button and the home button. Yep, there we go. Now press up. Now you're in downloading mode. Again, see, our flash counter is two. That's why you want to download Triangle Away. You can go on XDA and download it for free, the light version. I think it's light. Or you can go to the Google Play Store and support Chainfire, who is an awesome developer. That will reset that back to zero. By flashing a stock ROM, you are not tripping that counter by any means. So it's not going to change once you reset it and then run this method. Now plug it back in. Now that we're on the computer, I'm going to put two links in the description. One link will take you to this XDA thread. Thanks to sex tape, we now have a leak. This will install the official stock Jelly Bean ROM on your Samsung Galaxy Note 2. This will fix soft bricks. It will also fix a phone that no longer boots that is stuck in a boot loop. And if you're on a custom ROM like CyanogenMod 10, AOKP, or etc., this will get you back to 100% stock. You will want to reset your flash counter because by flashing a custom ROM or kernel or anything like that, you do trip the counter. So make sure that you go back and you use Triangle Way and you reset it. What you're going to want to do is click this, which will open up this link right here. In here, you'll find two links. One says Combination, which will be this one right here, and another one says Odin, which will be this one right here. For the sake of time, I have downloaded both of these files. You're going to want to power off your Galaxy Note 2, and you're going to want to press Volume Down, Power, and the Physical Home button. That will take you into download mode. Then you just press Up. At this point, what we're going to do is take these two files, put them right here, and then right here. When you open up Odin, it'll be this right here. You need to extract that. What I do is I just right click on it and I choose extract to and then that creates this right here and your files are in here. You've got these four files. You need to open up this and you need to take this and drag it into the Odin folder and just wait for this to do its thing. And now it's transferring it over from the temporary directory to that folder. So you can close that out, open up this, and now that huge file is in there. Basically when you double click on Odin, it's going to open up and it's going to say COM3, that's our phone. Yours won't necessarily say COM3, it could say COM4, COM5, etc. You do not have to worry about that. You want to make sure the auto reboot and F reset time are checked. When you press PDA, it's going to open up that Odin folder. That's why I said to extract it in that default folder that Odin is in. That way it finds it really quickly. Just press open and then we'll make sure our file is over here. Check, 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 one, two, three, audio in sync. And then you just press start and wait and let it do its thing. I absolutely love the fact that there's a counter that lets you know how long it's going to take. That way you don't play a guessing game and wait forever. Alright, so at this time it looks like the phone's rebooting. We see Samsung. This, this little screen right here is normal. You'll also see it on the Galaxy S3. Alright, now it looks like it's booting up like normal. If this helped you flash your phone stock, please buy sex tape of beer. It really helps out, it does. If you want to help me out, just give this video a thumbs up by clicking the like button. It just vibrated, starting up. Alright, looks like we are 100% stock. All right, we're fixing to go to the about phone here in just a second. To root your phone, it's really easy. I do have a video on how to do that. I will link to it in the description of this video. Go to menu, settings, about device, Android 411. You are completely 100% stock. 
as if you just got your phone from the Sprint store. You can take it in there, get it repaired if it's broken, or troubleshoot a problem you were having with the custom ROM. Is my phone screwed up? Well, flash dock. If you still have the same problems, take your phone to Sprint. If you're not having the same problems, then it's a problem with the ROM. If you want to help me out, just give this video a thumbs up by clicking the like button. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. This is What Would Josh Do? And I'm out.